Almost. All right. Well, it is brown and square. <laughs> okay. The Dork Table, live with your host, Ash, and Vinny. The and I'm early, easily early. Oh, you're, you're always early. late. I, well, yeah. I, I do my best. It's, Did you figure this thing out? It's a slave world. Figure what thing out? This whole no, slave no, world no, no. thing. We're we're at the dark table. We do one thing at a time here. We don't think. Oh. We just produce like peoples. That's that's the way we do it. I've got all these uh, square pegs and round holes. Yeah. And I don't know what to do. <laughs> don't know what to do. <laughs> I'll get, I bet you can get some advice oh. if you ask nicely. Okay. What do we do? First thing first at the dork table, what do we do? We say hello to the dorks at the real liberty media dot com. Hello, dorks at the real liberty media dot com. <laughs> hey Vinny. Yeah, I like to hey. well you do that stuff where you know where, where the show goes to and where it don't go to. Oh yeah, it's right now. We're playing at RLMRadio.xyz right here at RealLibertyMedia.com. Uh, I like to pop it open the little extra channel there, the RealLibertyMedia.com channels chat page, Whoa. and it's nice and wide all the way across the screen. But uh, you can catch the players all kinds of places. Tune in and uh, internet radio. Uh, yeah, I said tune in, right? Uh, I, all kinds of places. Yeah. Plan to speaker over to YouTube. Back to uh, the homepage. We got the new banner. Thanks, Grimner. Yeah, that was awesome. very nice. I like that. Yeah. I was an I got some stuff. guy. Mm -hmm. I got some stuff gathered up. Uh, let's say hello, uh, Barman and uh, Ooh, Cowboy Tech. Barman and yeah, Cowboy he's, Tech. Ooh. He's a great guy. Yeah. Both I of know them. the Cowboy uh, Tech from the other site. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Put the Barman. Not so much. I like Cowboy. Mm. There's Grimner. Hey, he is Grim. the, uh, he's the big papa around here. Is that what he he's is? It's all gone. Yeah, big I, papa. I thought he was just a nerd that got stuck doing this crap because nobody else knew how. It's Big Daddy Grim, baby. Uh, you tell the you you tell the story how you like to, man. I'm okay with it. Okay. And uh, Moose, Moose Girl. Girl. Hmm. I don't know. Hey, hey, Kate. Our number one fan. We have 11 yeah. number one fans. Maybe really 12, 11? 12 if you count me. Yeah. You, we, you didn't count me in now, I hope. Yeah, well, not really. No. Come on. Take one off. I, take I, take no, one off. No, I didn't count you in the first place. <laughs> Sorry, Vinny, but the truth That's hurts. Okay. You are, I don't count. You, you're, a one. You're a redneck. You live in the Arkansas. What do you know? No, Miss uh, Kate. Ozark, yeah. Yeah, are you know? Hello, okay. You know, there's a new program. Well, not new. It's probably like a few years old, but they put it on that Netflix shit. It's called Ozark. Oh my goodness, the TV is a very weird. Mm. I've not seen it. Yeah, I, I don't want to get it's, uh, it's, Netflix. It's the Phantom. No. The Phantom. That so bogs you down if you get you get Netflix. Then you gotta. Well, me anyways. I'm gonna end up. Binge watching some uh, whole series, the uh, whole yeah, yeah, like twelve seasons. Uh, I watched the Battlestar Galactica like that years ago on uh, on CD though. Oh, they found you in a puddle. Okay, I understand. Anyway, Esmo. Oh no, you skipped Phantom. No, I said the Phantom was here. You weren't listening. Oh, I must have been not yeah. listening. And I said, "Hey, to Miss Kate." And I said, hey, to the Moose Girl, and to the Grimner, and, and the CT. Mm -hmm. Our administration. But yes, thank y'all very much. Haven't so got Beth, to the Beth Z yet, but we're working on it. Betsy. She loves you, I think. I know. I'm her favorite communist. <laughs> you you cannot count her on the list. <laughs> <laughs> She's number four. <laughs> <laughs> Chalcedony. We take hostages at the dork table. <laughs> Sometimes. What? What is Grim? Grim is gimping. I don't know. Grim is what did he do? Gimping. Yes. Uh, maybe he wrote it wrong. Hey. Maybe it's pimping. Pimping. Oh wait. Yeah, okay. yeah, maybe that's what they call that now because he made the banner on the computer. Maybe they call it gimping. Who knows? Oh, uh, let's check it out. We're gonna dot. 
Oh, oh look at Miss Kate took us to the garage. She did. Isn't yes. that cool? Don't you feel special? She's got us in her We're... pocket. <laughs> Where uh, I've never been in anybody's pocket with you before. This is very interesting. <laughs> yeah, we're we're portable. Well, there, Chloe. There you have Chloe. it. I. We have double. I don't days. think I don't think Grimmer plays video games. There it is. Dot ud in the chat. Ooh, uh, there it is. Urban Dictionary. Yeah, yeah, Gimping yeah. is to veg out for many hours playing oh, video you games. Oh, got some of them meatballs. I, yeah, uh, that's what it I is. I guess you could be gimping gimping on, on uh, Netflix, right? Watching, binge watching. Uh, didn't you ever <laughs> see that damn movie? Was that Tarantino movie? It was about 12 hours long. Uh, Pulp Fiction. It wasn't 12 hours long, but yes, right. I watched it. It seemed like 12 cult. hours I, to I've, me. I've watched it... Uh, God a bunch damn, Tarantino of, uh, doesn't know when to stop. Anyway, uh, in no, that Tarantino. program, they had a character called the Gimp. Yeah, I, I yeah, thought yeah. he'd been no. gimping. Yes. Ha, 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 ha. Never mind. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, Gimp well, is. Uh, what about Chloe? I Chloe Chloe. She doesn't listen Chloe, anyway because I got I say bad words on the radio, yeah. let, and it let, makes her this, feel uncomfortable. Hey, Dan's here. Let this be a Whoa. warning to you. Wait, go in order. Uh, language Cyber. content. Cyber. Dan, he's my friend. No, you know what? From if, Tennessee, if, he gets bumped up to the top, man. He if, shows up. The day I start judging my friends by the way they talk, I will have no friends. Yeah, yeah I don't think Cyborg you have any. Noodle. You lost your friendship. Look, no, they I just canceled I, you. I traded it for weed. Who canceled me? Again, I've been canceled. Oy. Netflix. Net yeah, Netflix. Oh, I'm not. Oh, wait. My, uh, my, my, uh, this is something I haven't done in a long time. Mm. Second pot of coffee. Yeah, so but you didn't like. say hi to Cyborg Noodle or Don C. Hi, Cyborg Noodle. Dakota. Don C. DC, not District of Columbia, Dakota. Uh, There's my good friend Dan in Tennessee. Ooh. And up to you, flash somebody. Cha cha. That's me. Now you can slap back me on up the back. Nostril. That's me. Hey, Frumpy, Frumpy. Four. We got four. Frumpy. That's Frumpy Love. And Grams. Hey, I think IKEA came out with a new model of hands, too. But we'll talk about that tomorrow. Okay, Grams. Sunday door table. Oh, look. Don's changed again. I B D C. Wow, he's getting creative with his underscores and letters underscore yes he'll be a java musician or composer or something i know java 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 Two. java 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 Two. java dark. and yeah and here is hey. your favorite nazi in the entire he's free not, world he's not here ah uh, his name is there oh terrible he left see there oh, boom he you left. talked about him he left i Bye -bye. wish it worked so Dread. well when i'm in chat oh oh well my favorite nazi Hans Dread. Dread. Dread, Dread, Dread. JJ's nine. He's dead. Huh? Is he in Scotland or Ireland? Scotland. Scotland it is, Scotland. yeah. Nobody I'm a, lives in yeah. Ireland. That's a myth. My, uh, a bunch of leprechauns. My brother and leprechauns? No, they do exist. In your mind, you freak. In your mind. Anyway. Hey, my brother and my niece did a DNA test, and I'm a uh, uh, Scott. Uh, Irish, Welsh, uh, Dutch, yeah, yeah and uh, some uh, uh, European over there between uh, Spain and oh. France. Up there, oh, the your parents got around a little bit, huh? Oh. Yeah. Well, what? Some sometimes. What a taco! I do. Please, thank you. Hey, what's with the two kozus? Uh, I don't know, but I tried to double sign in on me. Yeah. And uh, it was said my nick was already taken. Oh, this is very suspicious. Maybe Kozu is a Russian spy. In here to gather all our information and take it to the headquarters of the Russians. Or maybe it's just a glitch. Here's somebody new. Caridu. Caridos. Carry, wait. Caridos and Caridons. Carry, carry lot. Five. Five. Uh, wonder if they're related to layer eight probably lots of numbers in those names that makes yeah. 13 woody right. 
means they're a Meister, bro. Uh, and then the, mm, in the box, uh, box wait. family. Oh, yeah. Well, we got boy. boxes yeah. up to here. We're up to our eyeballs in the boxes. A box. Bonafide. Box. Boxified. <laughs> on a phone. Pone sauce. I would I think like pon my sauce. pone sauce shaken. Nuts, dude. I, I, I think it's pawn sauce. Uh, Grimner says it's pawn. Oh. So I'm going to go against the That's Miss a, Mary, and I'm going to go with the Grimner, and I'm going to go with the pawn. I think it's like something you put on uh, shrimp. Rain! Let it rain, rain, yeah. rain. Oh. There she is. Look, She's a little snarky, too. You, Miss, Miss, Miss RLM Fluke. Uh, I know yes, she I am is. doing Whoa. a gender. The troublemaker. She's always breaking up the family. Hmm. It goes on the Rob front. Rob works out here either. He said he was going to nap. So he got his name going, but no Robert works in the works. Kira Deuce is Kira Don, uh, Gons now. <laughs> we, we scared off another one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We okay. We have the sock puppet. Oh, the skittle. The tr hey, Making trust number one did the same damn thing that Kozu did. What? Uh, look at the screen, mister. No, Whoa. he didn't. Rumps look again. Two, no, 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 stop. No, he did number. not, mister. Look. Oh, yeah. Look at it. I am. That is no one and number one. Oh, oh that is a very clever. I could no, not it's see. not. That's not a zero. One's cat. No, I, that's what I said. One's I did, not cat. I did not see. I thought, hey, wait a minute. No, I'm wrong. Because a zero has yeah. a slash to, to no, it. No, but the little O and the big O is not the same O on the computer. Mm. That's right. Okay. And uh, Who's then, last? Here's me. Pulling yeah, up the I rear. Am. Is video. two times in a row and, and video, RL, RL radio. radio. Yeah. yeah, I uh, I forgot. Uh, hmm. I was hoping Frumpy would show up and uh, assist in the, the clever name of the day for the for the Vinny edition. <laughs> well, all you have to do is don't look for him, and he will be there. <clears throat> really? Yeah, that's what my good yeah my good friend tells me that my my buddy Zero De Niro, the Mexican heroin dealer, he knows. Everything about everything. My God. He's smarter than Hans. <laughs> I don't think so. Mm. Don't tell Zero that. He'll shoot you in the face with the gun. He's a very Zero. bad man. Don't but, be a hero. You know, I listened to our show from the <clears throat> last week. Very funny. We have very different opinions about a very, very many things. Me and you. Uh, wait, what? But now say that again. We have very different opinions about very many things. Sure, that's uh, uh, that's square pegs and round holes and theories and conflicts. That's right uh, now on that the dark your, table your with Flash and Benny. Yes, yes. Which the hijacked. Are, uh, okay, I have to be. Uh, well, the, we're going to talk about that. I well, have to be the hold round on. one. We'll, we're going to. No, I'm married to the off. circle. I have to be the round one, or I won't fit. You, you don't had understand. to fit. You are square. <laughs> we're, we'll we'll talk about that. <laughs> and this <laughs> is the way it is. The way it is. Uh, but what are the limiting? Uh, what is uh, the limiting behavior? And uh, so we're gonna look at cultures and yeah, uh, or what, cultures what, what on a your, budget. What limits your behavior? Fear of prison or good manners? Uh, both. Depends on circumstance. Oh, so there are times you don't care about the other man? You just do as you willy-nilly, please? What are you saying here? Uh, no, I I would be talking again, of course, uh, comparing what's right and what's wrong. <laughs> but uh, in, the, in the eyes of the law, yeah. if you fought the law, <laughs> the law will win. Right? It's all an illusion. They don't win. They kidnap you. They tell you a bunch of bullshit, and they throw you in a cage and lock you up. It's not... It's not real. It's made up. That's why I insist on bringing back the dueling. Crime would go down overnight, immediately. There'd be a little upright. People would probably die a lot in the first day or two, but they would settle yeah. down. Yeah. Well, what about the bullies that would take advantage of that? And uh, hey, that nature. Sort of thing. How come it's okay for nature to do it, but when men do it, it's no nice? I don't understand. 
It's called natural selection. Just because you've got a gun to help you with your mission doesn't make you any... Uh, eh, maybe it gives you an advantage, but only from a distance. Up close, a gun but true, is useless. True law will, will supersede that uh, that array, that disorder, that, uh, that function that's dominated by a, a superior force, even if they are wrong. Well, doesn't it depend so on the true law is supposed to protect that? Oh, here we go. But doesn't can you outrun a lion? Would is that a uh, something you'd like to participate in? If a lion can get to me from Africa to where I'm at now, I will let the I will stand there and let the lion eat me. There's no way, Vinny. It's you. You bring up impossibilities that ain't going to happen. Okay. Well, when Hans invades, uh, yeah, the land of the Danes and comes yeah. over there and. Points yeah. a gun at you. Would, yeah. What would you do? What would I do? Mm. Yeah. He's sick, gonna shoot you. Sick my dog on him. That'll help. What would I do? See, again with the impossibilities in life. I mean I'm not I'm not completely ignorant. I know reality exists. I mean, you know, I know I play around on the radio a lot. But there is a certain amount of bullshit in the world. And there's a certain amount of people that speak it. Guess who's their leader? <laughs> you? Oh, no, I, I don't speak too much bullshit. Just a little. Just enough to tell the story and then make it funny. Make it funny. Make well, it so. That's my goal. Nah, I'm more into the giggle than the real. The real is very depressing. Good Lord. People and their reality. Wow. Can't you people Your find goals something to come do? from free kicks, mister. My, my goals? I don't have any goals. I really? live my day. That is my fucking goal. I can't even explain this to Circle. Just the other day, she's, oh, next week, da 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 and I'm, 15 and I'm, minutes in. That's and, pretty good. Yeah. I got to compliment you on that. And I'm sitting there, shut up, and I'm sitting there going, but it, it's not... I'm not going to remember that. You need to tell me 10 minutes before it happens or I forget. She just doesn't. What if I tell remember. you 10 minutes after? Yeah, then not better than not. Oh. That was almost a I think that down. I think that we people have a problem living in the moment <laughs> we're given. We always want to be in a better moment, a different moment, some other place, some other time, some other this, some other that. It just goes on and fucking on. So one day I woke up and I went, hey, I am here. And then I stopped and that was it. I'm here. So what? Do you write that on bathroom walls? Fuck no. Don't. I don't do graffiti on bathroom walls, you putts. <laughs> Who do you think I am, goober? <laughs> <laughs> my when I went to a venturing yesterday, I went went to uh well through the big towns and towards the big city and uh it's a lot different. It, it was it's an adventure. I gotta see black people again. You know, it's always enjoyable and uh Yeah. It's kinda neat, you know, when you, you get off the mountain out here roaming around. It's all it's all about where you're crammed into sometimes. Or where you choose to uh, roll along. So you got to be round. You got to be a circle to roll. Or you just lump along. If you're trying to, if it was a square peg, yeah, what are you doing? You're lumping along. I'm accused. Round off the edges. Yeah. Round off the edges. No, you're not rounding off nothing off me. I'm staying just the way I am. The only thing that would change my mind is a real big blunt strike to the head or death. Other than that, I'm standing my ground. What do you think of that, Mr. Pothead? Jinx, we double hit. I uh, know. At the same time. Well, it's 419 <laughs> somewhere. Might as well be here. Yeah, it's 417 my time. Wow. Did you see what he put up? Swing by the IKEA Swedish food market and pick up some food. I don't know. IKEA makes furniture. <laughs> no, thank you. When they come out with meatballs, I ain't buying them. Fuck that. I I haven't been that hungry my entire life. You don't like Swedish meatballs? Not made by IKEA, the furniture company. No. I have my limits. 
that would be round balls, round wooden you, balls. So that want, would change the whole equation, wouldn't it? You want to you want to giggle? Yeah. I tell you a little known secret about me that everybody don't know, but I'll tell you. Ready? When Doesn't I like, go to you. the grocery store to get my milk for my coffee, I insist on the organic milk. Yep, organic, because my wife told me to get it. <laughs> <laughs> i'm so american it? look i figured it like this when i met her i survived 54 years of whatever the, sh the fuck i was eating all that time so things couldn't get any worse it could only improve and uh she was right I, i'm My thinking about getting uh, a goat. milk goat for for milking you drink goat milk Oh, I love goat milk. So, yeah. drink okay. goat, drink yeah. goat milk a good portion. It is my belief oh, yeah. that people have tastes according to where they were reared as young people. Because I've when seen I was, some when I was a little bitty boy, shit. I I milk cow, and milk goat, and all that stuff. Yeah, and in life, yeah. Do you remember it, or do do you think the cow or the the duck remember it? Not a duck. I hate ducks. You never milk I a remember. duck. They what? don't have nipples. How do you? Well, if you never milked one, how do you know they don't have nipples? Because <laughs> I plucked their breast bare. <laughs> I know. Oh, oh, you'll kill them, but you won't milk them, huh? I see. How hey, they are. Gary Hunt has uh, responded yeah. to uh, commenting here. Uh -oh. uh, it just popped up. Well, yeah. Gary Hunt, uh, he's uh, he's accused by some as being uh, one of these uh, secret agent guys down in Waco. And, was in Oklahoma City. Yeah, so and he was uh, John Doe, somebody okay. else. I got. I got to ask you two questions. Okay, one: right. Do you believe anything the government tells you? And number two: Do you believe what you read on the internet or the MSM? Well, let me start with the first one. What does the government tell me? You're going to need. I mean, that's pretty broad. Well, As in, yeah, broad, if, yeah. Just a, on. for instance, give yeah, me one just, for instance. What does you, the government tell me? You are free, citizen. Where's that at? It's like well, it's a summarized USC. version of what they fucking tell you. Come on, uh, you want to um, get all nitpicky about it? Yes, they promise yes. I, I think it's, it's important, really. I mean, because we're going to a rhetoric okay, without having let me reword started. It. You, you did this to me last week, you nerd. I'm going to have to do uh, that every time. Land of the free, home of the brave. That's a government quote. Not mine. I didn't write that. <clears throat> Is it? Yeah. Where's it written? I read it in school, sir. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> As well, it's been a while. I've been uh, in school like 40 years. You're such a square hole. Mm. Hey, when you think hey, of it. I think it's over 40 years now. Oh, boy. I'm getting old. No, uh, oh, hey. you know as well as me that plus one. Whether, they, whether they speak it in word form or write it down, however they do it, they inform the illiterate masses, and the illiterate masses carry the government message forward with them. Oh, there you go. And part of it was, you know, the home of the brave and the land of the free. And that turned out to be a two lies right out, the, right off the. Well, all right. If we uh, if we just take a look at that right there, uh, the brave and the free, the brave, I think, is uh, I think it's really self-expressed in, in our culture. That's reflected, even though it comes about by the propaganda for the war machine. Uh, we have a, a lot of people that serve that are, are very brave, and they believe in the idea of what they're doing for it. If they you know, were told the truth, do you think they would have been so brave? I don't. I think if well, they, they hadn't would, been lied to, yeah, they wouldn't have done I, I what think, they did. I think, yeah, I think they would be very brave, and hopefully that braveness would then would uh, turn over uh -huh. the oppression. Uh, oh, hey, boy, you're hopeless. Okay. But look, you know, we see instances of, uh, you know, assassination of uh, uh, high-ranking military brass because uh, they fought that. And, you know, people like Obama have installed the – and people have quit under him. You know, not just him but others. And then they put <laughs> yeah. in place these generals and so forth that uh, are loyal. And uh, it's not really the uh, – that motto, that, uh, that mantra of America of the, the free – the brave, you know, we're coming, uh, 
as an invasion force, right? What has uh, Ron I Paul been that. talking about Syria? Oy, oy. Exposing well, the yeah. lies. I don't know. I don't listen to politics anymore. Fucking done. <laughs> don't even open up political links. Pass them all by. Don't care. Fuck Trump. Fuck America. Fuck Denmark. Fuck everybody. When you when you wake up and you realize that you're on your own, no matter what these mothers tell you, it changes your life. And some somewhere down the road, you're going to wake up, and they're not going to be there. And either you wait for them to show up, or you go on your way. And you do what you need to do. Most people are just patient and wait for government tits so they got something to drink on. And that's not just from the homeland. That is other places, too. So free. 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 How how free am I? I'm pretty free. Mostly I don't have to uh, worry about any encouragement from uh, law enforcement if if I'm not putting myself in position that that they would have to take a a part of it, like Mm -hmm. any kind of uh, violence or... uh, destruction or theft of property and so forth now there'd be other you know things that would not keep me out of that path like if i just decided to grow a big patch of weed or something out in the front yard and i might be flying over and find it and then come assault wow oh now see what a big crime wave that would be he's got some plants growing in the fucking middle of nowhere let's go arrest him (sighs) people okay now, who you, posted you that earlier about uh, they just took the, the uh, federal arrest uh, power from the uh, feds? Uh, was it up in Wisconsin or somewhere no, out there? No, they're bringing it to ballot. The The state's not put in a ballot. The state's going to go about it without the people's consent. <laughs> but they're claiming a difference. But this is just a more direct way to get into the tax money and make money. They don't give a shit about nobody's rights or, oh, 100 years of being, you know, misrepresenting cannabis to the population. No, they're just going to say, well, let bygones be bygones. We need some money. To start. No, it's not. It's just another fucking control. They need to. Oh, sure it is. Stop the prohibition on on the plant let, let it go and then this is how i think about it. if a business wants to open and use cannabis to make products that should be up to the public to buy or not to buy their products but that's not how businesses run we have this stock market and government shit and all these f- bunch of lying thieves that prop up what's bad for us advertise the shit out of it as being good for you and make three or four times the profits so why would they want us to use hemp or cannabis? Because it's good and it's cheap. Oy Thanks, Don. Vey. Okay, and Don post us a link right there. All right. So you think that the the common man of today is so stupid that if he knew that you could make one car that would last a hundred years, you never need another car, he would go, "No, I don't want that. I want a new car every year." You. You've got to realize there's planned obsolescence, uh, obsolescence there. I don't got to realize anything. The I've just been telling time you about that delivery. for years. That's, that's yeah. how the system is set up. So um, you've yeah. got to go about what? How, how do you Are you for it how do or you are you counter? against it? Are you for it or against it? You know, my good friend James Freeland that introduced me to internet radio. What am I for or against what? That's the, obsol- the planned obs- obsolescence that you just brought up, you monkey. Well, Jeez, what I'm, am I talking I'm to not, myself? But, I'm not for it. Why not? Well, because it's waste. Okay, then what What do you do to stop it? You try to uh, buy, but you're, you, know, you vote with your <clears throat> buying power. How? <laughs> How much Build money do you car. think you spend? Dude. Me, I don't spend very much yeah, money. Da da, there you go. See, you alone. As long I get as high with that, a little help from my friends. Ah, good point. But as long as we're isolated the way we are, little groups of twenty here, forty there, five hundred, a thousand, it's never going to amount to enough people to collect to do a, any damage to these existing corporations. Not, not at, not in the physical, certainly, and and not at at first. At first, it has to be. Uh, the, you know, the war for the mines. People have to 
by, you know, talking about stuff, uh, spreading the information and uh, a social awareness, social consciousness. Well, you know what I learned? Finally, finally, then, then see the mind starts right there. And then as the masses uh, start moving slowly from that fulcrum right there, it doesn't take long to make a big tip at the other end, right, to change it. So well, it, it seems to me the only time the masses move is in violence. I never see any peace. Yeah, anything. general. That's that's the uh, that's part it, of it. If that it starts left if right it, paradigm. If it starts in peace, the government intervenes and shoots somebody. So absolutely, those days are over. We lost that in the nineteen and seventy. I think can't stay. There was uh, thousands of us that made a change in uh, Bunkerville in twenty fourteen by uh, amassing in numbers. We stopped the mass murder of the Bundy family. By the true, federal government. true, true, true. Right. And, but you have a public that is told both sides of the story and don't know which one to believe. So the more of them, the higher number of the people will listen to the official story. Mm-hmm. Most people listen with their heart. I knew, so, I know somebody that had no idea that you were actually out there in the world doing it. They thought you were talking from your house. Who did? I ain't going to tell you. It's just somebody I know. Not certain. Really? Yeah, it wasn't my wife, though. Thought that but, I yeah, was just talking they about. They d- yeah, had I'm... no idea you were out there in the street, you know, in the world doing that. Oh. They thought you were just talking on the radio. I was there in 2014 and, and yeah, uh, 2017, I, 2018. I know. Yeah, I was in the court. And, and then I expanded. I went and took a broader look at this uh, system of oppression. I went to... Mm. Uh, Bruce Doucette's trial in uh, Denver, Colorado. Uh, I went. I went out to to California. I interviewed you, with uh, William Wagner. Do you feel uh, oppressed? Me, there's a amount of oppression, but uh, um, in, in order to avoid the that, uh, what will happen when you get pressure? You're gonna get squished. So you want to stay out of that squish range, right? Well, I do. And it seems that you do, but there are other people that insist on playing this this meat grinder game. That's that. the problem. Yeah, that's the well, problem. They're throwing themselves into the cogs, right? I don't know. My wife's in it, in finance. So mm, what am I supposed to say about that? That's just a job. But I tell her I'm against everything you do, so if you ever well, stop doing it, that I'm not going to be mad about it. It's not going to bother me one bit. <laughs> Living on love. But see, she's lucky. Hi, she, she really likes to do what she does. And I've had, I got to say, I've had jobs where I really liked going to work. And I liked the people I worked with and what I did. And it was always fun and shit like that. So I understand the mentality behind her, her, her <laughs> way. But I don't know. I guess I'm just old now and fuck, fuck work. Why would I want to work? Because you're old. No, it's a good excuse not to, though. Sure it is. But, eh. Well, I've, I've just, uh, survival and, and the desire for wealth had definitely never hit together in my last what, 30 years, give or take. I went, uh-oh. No, I don't want to do that to people. So, survival will just have to be enough. Bump it. And it's amazing how how much uh, when I look back over what I've done to earn dollars when I needed to eat and whatnot, I helped a lot of people in my history by being available to do some of the wild things that I was man I managed to accomplish. Wild and things? I, uh, I'll give you a story. I, I had uh, it was a bar I was hanging out in. And we had heard rumors this woman had a problem with her husband and this, that, and the other. Oh, we let it go. And she came in and told us this thing one day, and he got arrested. Well, they took him to jail, and they, and he couldn't pay the uh, the bail, so they held him till court. So he wasn't going back to the house. And once they went to court, he wasn't coming out of jail for five years. Anyway, so she had this house full of his family, and we were listening to her, me and my buddy. So we went over and asked her if we could sit out behind her, you know, at the pool and and have a little talk. 
me and him by, by ourselves. So we sat under an open window in the backyard by the pool talking about, hey, you want to get some angels over here tomorrow? Wink, wink, wink. You know, we we're playing between us but hoping they would hear. Yeah, we'll get Tom and we'll get, um, what's the <laughs> other guy's name? Yeah, whatever his name was. Olaf. And so and we had these people convinced we were going to show up with the Hell's Angels to move them. So they had the, U, they had the U-Haul in, at 10 o'clock in the morning packing up the house full of their, their stuff and the family and got out. And we were just <laughs> talking shit. We were bluffing. We were going, oh, man, I hope they don't call, call our bluff on this one. We got, we got this woman in trouble. And they bought it and left. Because well, I think they knew where, where we were hanging out, and they checked it out or something. Cause they you, would, looked, oh. you looked apart, huh? No, we were just talking about people we knew that we wouldn't tell them people what we were talking about. We were talking behind people's backs about what we were going to get them to do for us. It was like a joke. Mm -hmm. And the, the people that lived in the house were never going to run into Tom and Olaf and go, hey, we were afraid, so we moved. So it was a win-win. Except if it hadn't worked, but so it was picture Olaf is like six foot eight. No, Olaf is little. He was, he was about five ten. But wait, well, did, did he have a big beard? No, he had a clean shaven face and a little tiny wife. Uh, but well, when you bumped into didn't. him, he didn't move. Chloe got bumped, so I bumped with her. Oh no! I mean, oh. if you walked into oh. the guy in the oh. bar and bumped into, he wouldn't. You wouldn't move him. He he was like a rock. Him and Tom, there were two bike ride, two Harley riders, and we just used their names and, you know, hey, let's do this and let's do that. We'll just get rid of these people, and they decided to just take it upon themselves and leave, because me and, and why Brian, well, they were there. The guy goes to what prison for how long? Five years. He got five, and his yeah. what his old ladies is like, yeah, what. Well, I'm done with the guy and well, just the, get the family gone. The, in a California, <laughs> California laws were weird. If you have possession of a property, it doesn't matter if you rent it or own it. The, the police had a hard time in those days getting you out. It wasn't, it was pre before they shot you in the face and blamed it on somebody else. Well, that brought silence. Yeah. I'm just okay. wondering, you know, what? Well, there was, oh, no, a day, I was actually you know, just thinking on, you know, how the, that works, how, what works the whole deal, what you know, whole deal? squatting, squatting. And then, you know, the cops, no, no, if saying, it, say if, if, uh, in California at the time, if I had a rent at a, a place and was behind on the rent, they still can't for a long time. They have to go through the process to get rid of you legally. They've changed all that since those days. It's more specific yeah. now. But back in the day, it was harder to get rid of you if, because you had possession. That was the whole thing. Not the whole nine-tenths of the law pretty deal. Yeah, pretty close to, yeah, it was pretty close to nine-tenths. So as long as you were there and you hadn't done anything else, they were just complaining because you were occupying it. Well, you, you had a right to occupy it. Yeah, you can invite somebody to your house. And as soon as they come in, you've let them in and they've hung a, a T-shirt in the closet, whatever. Then, yeah, they can, like, have you kicked out of your own house. In some, it depends on the state. Well, I guess admiralty court's admiralty court. But. So, it, yeah, let me give you a for instance. So if you right. say, you know, hey, um, you've overstayed your welcome here and it's time for you to go. And. uh then all of a sudden, you know, it turns into a physical thing. Then it's a domestic violence. And uh, uh, the homeowner could then be uh, put in jail and uh, 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 no contact order issued. And he can't return back to his own home while they're, the whole time the uh, that person there is up inside his house. Law, baby. Isn't it wonderful? How you like that? I don't. Some of these things <laughs> have been... Well, they've gone the other way. Now the law is more dangerous than the criminal was. So so I, I just don't care for it anymore. I just take my chances with people and let life take me where it goes. You know what they say? A gun in the hand is better than 20 minutes on the phone with 911. Uh, well, damn. Then, like last week, I was telling you some guy, what happened to the old man? His home was burglarized or something previously 
So he went and got a gun for home protection. That's why I called that shooting an accident because he got the gun for protection after he was violated. He didn't already. He have got it. the gun and so, the law oh, yeah. one. But you got to think about that. If if somebody, if a gun lover, will have a gun before the burglary, not after the burglary. You know what I mean? And then the second time was a fluke. Nobody was hurting him. He just had been burglarized and thought, "Holy shit, I'm getting broken into," and it was not. A breaking in it was a drunk guy thought he was going into his own house but the guy didn't die right no he just shot him but still do you want to be shot <clears throat> drunk by anybody i don't i don't want to be Ooh. going into somebody's house that ain't my own drunk <laughs> i haven't been that i haven't been that plastered in years uh -huh. that uh, uh when what i was that stuff white light wanna... did that Ooh, <laughs> white lightning. i think so in tennessee i was in knoxville tennessee and they had some kind of, they called it, um, it was Hawaiian punch. That's what they called it because they mixed it with Hawaiian punch. And it tasted vile. But, boy, it did the job. It was like, wow, this stuff is rocket fuel. Oh, this is uh, this is rocket fuel right here. And it's so all 99. Here, here's something I'm curious about, right? Because we all do curious this, about? We all do this complaining about the freedom thing. I don't really, I don't know where average Joe um, feels free or not free, but if you look on it, it's like watching, it's like going to the zoo to go to a city now. It's fun. I Like yesterday, I had a wonderful time. It was a great adventure. I went in. Where'd you go? Well, well, I went to uh, Conway and out and on <gasps> over by Little Rock. Uh, yeah. And ate, uh. A Chinese buffet, man. Mm. I embarrassed two fat men. Man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice way to put it. <laughs> okay, so you were off in uh, rural yeah, my friend, Arkansas. My friend or... actually left. He says, I can't eat it no more, and I can't stand to sit and watch you eat anymore. <laughs> yeah, but you're in the city, or you're just in rural Arkansas? Well, yesterday. right on the... The very edge, the old uh, 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 outskirts that used to be, but is uh, now so populated. With, what was the uh, great? The what's the great exciting thing that happened? You're kind of a girl at waved it. at me when she's walking down the road. Oh, how do you know she was waving at you? See, because I waved at her first. She waved. Well, back. that's not the way you say. You didn't tell me like that. She returned <laughs> your wave. So you started well, a wave. She was a... looking. She was looking at me, <laughs> and I was looking at her. So I wave and kind of, you know, the big cheesy grin that I get. <laughs> when will the when will that wave get <laughs> to Denmark? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the stratosphere. The mistake. wave. Oh, I got to go. Let the dog in. Give me a minute. <laughs> Who let the dog in? My dog. Ruff, ruff. That's Hannah. Yes, she's a lovely dog. <clears throat> Go world. Thank you, Chloe, right? That's what we need to be doing. We can think in, in the sense where we can see the whole of the picture. And then where there's difference. Got to see where we can work. If not together, then past each other. Walk away in peace. That's yeah. the whole idea. I'm still trying to figure out what freedom is. Well, <laughs> I have many examples of freedom. I can walk out my front door in my underwear, even naked if I wanted to. Me and too. Do you have done? Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Well, how is that? What's that <laughs> well, I can't to do, do with that. freedom? I can't do that in the city. So, I mean, oh, some, uh, you know, city. some, yeah. some means of expression are, uh, Kind of need to be limited in a way. Now, if I had a fence, if I lived in the fence and I had a privacy fence uh, in the city and I had a privacy fence all around a yard, then I could have the uh, expectancy of uh, uh, having that privacy to walk out my front door in my uh, buff, right? And then what if the neighbor's peeking over your fence and calls <laughs> then they're up the 911? Okay. They're trespassing. I I've read, I've read and seen some horrible things about the police in the last few years. So, say even the cops accidentally got called on you for some nonsense. Do you feel safe? 
Well, you might because you're in a small um, community. But if in the yeah, city, I have like, pretty good at interactions with cops. But right, well, there's it, certain it's, there's certain rules of procedure that that you know you have to uh, uh, follow. Now, if a cop comes up to me and I take off running, <laughs> I, must, I might expect some different consequence. <laughs> or if I if I walk up to him and start yapping, uh, you know, getting defensive or offensive. Um, that's going to incite some other reaction, right? I don't know. First thing you want to do, listen, if you don't know, hmm. first thing you want to do if you have an encounter with police is uh, d- uh, just stand there hmm. and, yeah, don't be reaching or jerking. They don't do don't that run. here. Don't okay. run. And if they you're don't... in a car and you hit a cop car and flee, you probably expect to get shot, right? Where do Where are you talking? What place lives like that? Come on. You're <laughs> talking a bunch of stories. People well, don't look like that. I encounters. I do. Do you? When uh, when I walked up, uh, I was going to go down and shoot some video. Yeah, yeah. me being there personally, uh, f- uh, the uh, helicopter that uh, uh, escorted the transport. Hey, somebody killed that duck. Shut <laughs> miss. Uh, <clears throat> Rob works killing ducks in the chat room. Thanks, Rob works. Uh, <laughs> So I'm going to go down and I'm going to shoot this video where they're transporting Ammon and uh, the other guys there, Ryan and uh, Bundy, Ryan Payne and uh, Clive and Bundy. Uh, And here's this big old lady highway patrolman. So I just walking down the sidewalk and I've got my RLM uh, badge on and uh, I just step out in front of her car and I stand there and I cross one hand over my uh, wrist and I stand there with my legs just a little bit apart. Like I'm standing at ease. Mm-hmm. And she jumps out of the car and like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I said, uh, I, I'm here to uh, identify myself and give you notification of my intent uh, mm-hmm. to, to film this escort. Mm-hmm. She says, uh, I had all kinds of questions. How do you know? I like the helicopter. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> yeah. Every, everybody knows. It's a secret. <laughs> 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 it was funny. Wow. She was asking me like, what, uh, do you think anybody's trying to break them out? And I just laughed. And I said, if anybody, <laughs> tried, if anybody tried to break them out, they'd try to stay in. I in said, Vegas, here too. To win this battle. Yeah, yeah, in Vegas. Well, well, you just Federal let court. people leave and wait until they're out in the desert, and then you chase them. <laughs> I mean, come on. <clears throat> I, I thought it was important to, to stand as a witness. and I, oh, I, I thought it was good you did it. Course. Yeah. I'm glad you did that shit. I'm glad. Yeah, it, it, it was. Uh, There's a lot of reward in it. Well, not, not quite actually, but no, no, no. But uh, this, uh, yeah, the way you feel about you did a good deed. Yeah. Well, and, and being able to go and identify it in person, mm-hmm. not just, uh, um, not not just the black and white, but because the black and white can confuse us, right? Unless you can really get down to the core of it, right, and see how it all works and why it is and and how it becomes what it is. Way so, too much. Yeah, uh, too many details for me. I'd go insane. But, but what but to, what does that to have to do with being free? The behavior you you're able to uh, experience the behavior of the beast uh, firsthand in the attributes oh. uh, of uh, uh, those in power, like the the judge Navarro, like the uh, the prosecution and the uh, the the team there that of uh, Dan Love that went in, you know, in this whole military operation against the Bundys. I saw it with. Bruce Doucette, how they set it up to become a crime. They go in there and fish, and then they implant mm-hmm. uh, uh, and propose. As I, I just was seeing uh, <clears throat> Dwayne Emer, uh, as somebody there, I forget, commented on, on his thread there, how uh, the, there was probably like 55 agents up there infiltrated in uh, the Oregon uh, standoff, and only like 15 of them were exposed and uh that was part of that thread with uh gary hunt uh, the redacted articles of the uh the informant so the judge made him take it down and i copied everything to wordpress so it's still up all of that is up uh, about the uh, the information about who we have or what we have on them what and do you some ex- i uh, some i interviewed mama bear yeah but uh, what i know do you expect from to Tucker come Bill. from all this come on i mean w- what changed I'm not there. I can only understand it from reading. 
there's no living there anymore for me. Well, what's changed, and unfortunately what hasn't changed, unfortunately, mm-hmm. is that these same old tricks are still <laughs> working. Yeah, They come in and they use these uh, people they insert in there and they... Uh, and then they take advantage of other people that, um, well, you know, I don't want to be mean or nothing, but uh, uh, some people you might say uh, are more in that that hole already. Uh, they're they're pounded in there. And they pounded themselves in. In many instances of being in this, you know, just you can't move once you're inside that hole. Hmm. Uh, and maybe with uh, uh, lesser of a mental capacity or. Uh, more of a propensity due to uh, um, their uh, abuse from the system, whether it been in prison or uh, just school, uh, you know, the whole way the whole social a- aspect works, they become outcast. Uh, then they seek uh, to, to some kind of formness of, with the similarity, and then you've got things like patriot uh, movements and militia, and then all of that stuff is always infiltrated and that's what we have and a lot of people fail to uh, recognize that and well that's they, what tv they fight, was for right on in yeah, yeah that, that's what tv and movies are for social engineering to, to prepare us for not what's legal but what well i guess it's ca- it's called legal but it's not moral or ethical but it's within the confines of the fucking law johnny so it's okay <laughs> but if you do it it ain't okay but the cops can do it and they tell you right there. They put make TV programs about it in movies, and they let you know you turn your back on us, and we're going to take everything you got. But there's here's how come it works. I think there's 320 million people in that country, and that's a lot of people to abuse. You can abuse a different person every day of your life and never meet the same person twice. Well, October the. Uh... 14th, right? Was it 12th? Yeah, 14th. Uh, no, the 12th. I'm sorry. I think I'm skipping days here. Yeah, when when uh, huh. what they called a big standoff happened there in uh, oh, Bunkerville. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. There was like, I stopped counting at about 180 something cars that came out when the feds left out. Mm-hmm. That had the, they actually, they had the cattle surrounded. They did. They had them pinned up there, and, and that's where all the, uh, command center was there that was a lot of cops that come to guard cattle together yeah yeah they had SWAT teams yeah they had snipers uh special agents from force service you know sniper team there and from the uh, blm Mm -hmm. it was quite a quite an army they had an incredible amount of surveillance uh, uh equipment set up and i was there in the courtroom too when they were denying all that but i was also there in 2014 when uh, the cameras had already been found. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oops. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, yeah. and I was a witness. I was just there as an observer. I was uh, number 303 on the witness list. Right. But you did say you didn't go to join sides. You just came That's to right. be a witness. And you did That's what exactly you said. That. That's I why did. I still and like you. You know that, right? Clive and, Clive and Bundy said, where are you, media? And I said, I'm here. Cause I'm a little guy. Were, if you were dishonest, I would not like you. I would do they, radio with you, I but I would that. hate every minute of it and call you names. Uh, I'm I'm not part of. I don't garner myself, gather myself up into any any group. I said it then. You know, I'm here by myself. Yeah. Do you find do, do you find other people abrasive when you take that stand yeah. and refuse to yeah. join the collective? Absolutely. How do they treat you? Well, it's, uh, I, I still remember the, huh, and, and, and stomping off and, uh, Louis Arthur, uh, this, uh, veterans on patrol, uh, he's, he's still in the, in the news, but back there in Tucson, he discovered this so-called, uh, child pornography and uh, tied it in with the Clintons and the sex <laughs> ring and dead, dead baby skulls in the desert. This guy is a nutbag. Louis <laughs> Arthur. Yeah. I, I knew him oh, in Bunkerville and I know yeah. what kind of idiot he is. Yeah. But yeah. see, he came along and uh, these guys he had with him, they're going along getting people's ID. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, we'll sign you up right here. 
and the guys he had with him were uh, were feds. And it's like I just like laugh, uh, asking me like what I'm armed with. Uh, I can't laugh. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not here to sign up with nobody. I'm not come here to uh, throw off one oppression for another. And uh, I said I, I'm here. I'm armed with my uh, my phone, my voice, and my feet. And I said I come here to uh, for what matters and to make a record. And that was when that huh, that huh, this guy he's not our guy. They went looking for people that they could manipulate. People yeah. like Greg Burleson, they got drunk and got him to talk all kinds of mad shit about what he would do. Uh, he wanted to see yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. they put him in prison for 86 years. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. But the irony Conspiracy, is he had yeah. been an FBI informant a couple of times before. That's a whole uh, different uh, can of worms there. And, and I have uh, looked at that. I've uh, had some interviews with uh, some FBI informants. Just trying to set the record. Is, so. And I don't want people to shut up. I want people to talk and talk and talk. Uh, and, and especially if somebody's wrong or if they're lying, then it becomes exposed. The truth is going to stand consistently. In and, the long uh, run. But in the meantime. Yeah. Okay. But in, in the meantime. In the meantime, what, it's being hijacked. And that's why you got to fight. And that's what, why it's very important to be able to walk it all through. From we know all that. Finish, but the, what for the do overall you, look. What do you see changed, you big butt nugget? You didn't really get to that part. What, what Tell me the history. Uh, I already know the history. I want to know what changed from as a result of, besides <laughs> the bunnies are still alive, the one, but besides that, something that for the you know the group could look <laughs> at, It. I don't think there is anything for everybody well, to see uh, and uh, agree on. It's all chopped up in <laughs> little pieces so you can pick a side. Chloe said easily. I think she misspelled it, though. Let me uh -oh. correct. Oh, we have misspelling <laughs> on the internet webs. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, you can say it in three syllables as easily. Oh, uh, she's talking about the Trump, I think. <laughs> I know. I still Whatever. claim. Make, I still make claim. <laughs> well. What has changed? Uh, people yeah. have uh, stepped up to the front. A lot of people uh, here uh, listening, uh, you know, they don't think that the government's the answer, but Ryan Bundy's running for governor. Now, you might say, I, I wouldn't think there's a chance he would win, but uh, I didn't think there's a chance that he could have beat uh, uh, that uh, battle in court, neither. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised, but at least in the meantime, he's still got a, uh, um, a platform, right? Uh, and at least there are still people that's cohesive, even amongst all the turmoil that's purposely interjected oh, okay. to destroy this movement that's so, the see that's the biggest uh so thing right going, there is how going they against break going it down. against the people at the way the government did it actually helped the people bond tighter and, yeah and so but it, now they try to it tear it apart on them yeah well right but well you can't once it finally sets it's, it's pretty much going to go that way you either split us up at the beginning or you make us join, the, like Kent State, divided everybody up. That was it. They're going to kill us. Well, I ain't going to be anti-war anymore. Fuck that. I'm pro-life, and you know, and I got no opinion about the war. Don't shoot me. How'd they ever get the order to fire? You ever look I, at that? I don't know. Uh -uh. I think Nixon, uh, well, I read something. This is vague memory, too, but I read that Nixon is the one that ordered uh any means necessary, put an end to this now. And then one of his underlings w would give the order to shoot. But it come from high above, just like Waco. You know, they yeah, made a movie Jenna, about you know. that. Well, the, the movie makes it look like the FBI and the ATF <clears throat> did it. And and it completely just a, avoids the, the reality of they got told to do it by uppers. No, they're renegade police that went on their own and did this, uh, you know, against the will of the superiors. Oh, and really? We all yeah. know that, please. <laughs> well, that's the, it was in Netflix. But that, see, the semi social engineering through TV and movies is just, it's perfect. It works. Boy, you see it in a movie, it happened. Doesn't matter what it is. Went to the moon! For fuck's sake, I can sit down with a bag of weed and think I went to the moon too, but you know what? Just like you, I didn't go anywhere. 
it was all you heard a dream. Of, have you heard of the moon rocks? What they call moon rocks? Years ago, <laughs> back in back in the day. Yeah. No, no, no. The ones that uh, it's like uh, it's like killer weed rolled in. Uh, oh no, no. The no. resin, no. I think, and then mm-hmm. with the uh, trichomes. No, on the no. Back. I live I live in a rural place where you know all that fancy schmancy shit. You got to go to Copenhagen for it, and I, I don't do that. I don't get into all the competitive smoking bullshit. I think it's a bunch of crap. <clears throat> to toke this and this will put you in the fuck that. That's not why I smoke pot. I didn't get a chance to ever smoke any of it. There you go. Okay. Get a chance to smoke any of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, well, man, whatever. it's bomb. They sell dude. diamonds I've, too. I've had uh, to... Here we go. Huh. That's Fuck not that's the thing. reason I smoke pot. Now you're starting to sound like the the idiot that hands thinks I am because I smoke pot. What? What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, that's a, that fucking hands idiot on <laughs> RLM. He's always ragging me because I smoke pot, but I don't smoke pot to become different and strange and weird and high and pass out and j- jump on the windmill <laughs> naked i don't do any of that shit stoned that's drinking <laughs> not pot so I've, i never I've, I've, i never I've, chased i never chased all that synthetic <laughs> mid mid whatever they call it mishmash of this i'm gonna make a mishmash, strain of, i was taking fuck, it down there was, all about a Saturday night. Yeah, well, there was buds, and they cost a certain amount of money, and they lasted you a certain amount of time if you use this much a day. And that was good enough for me. I never needed two tokes and pass out. What the fuck is the point of that? Buds with buds, so it's better than buds with no buds. I, maybe so, but that's a perversion of why i started to smoke the shit in the first place if i wanted to sleep i would use downers i wouldn't use weed that would be a waste of weed to me no <clears throat> okay That's so the order to me society's just gone so stupid on uh competitive and the best of and all that they make shit up that's just stupid so it's a mystery of who gave the uh, order to uh to fire it Kent State, but there is some. Uh, well, I'm uh, not saying a it's 19th... a mystery. I'm saying I don't well, know no, the no, answer I'm, correctly. I, I'm, I'm looking at part of the answer, anyways. Right. <laughs> There's From a what, Google. What's your source, yeah. though? Yeah, uh, yeah. you're gonna get so, half the truth. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, you've got to be able to pick it out of there. That's uh, yeah. very, you've got how many people can you've do got that? two or three partial sentences in here that'll give you some uh, <laughs> some real information yeah. in there, right? Point you to the <laughs> so yeah. there is a. There's a tape from 1970 CBS News, and uh, it was discovered here. Uh, it's back up 87 or something. 2007, uh, a tape was the tape was discovered, and uh, it should be professionally reviewed. But there's something heard there, and uh, it says the it can't determine who might have issued uh, such a command or why to uh, to fire. Mm-hmm. So uh, it looks to me like uh, nobody. Nobody was uh, fingered on that uh, trigger pull. Nobody well, uh, cool. finger. Yeah, because they're not gonna. Yeah, they're not gonna <laughs> commit. And give you a name. Now, then, that was a lot longer back in the history when they could still manipulate shit with paper. Now it's not so easy because of the interweb and cameras. Everybody's. You know. You know. It's really amazing to this moment in my life. All these fucking cameras and the government still pulls these snow jobs about terrorist attacks and mass shootings that never happened. And oh, their ha- stuff happens. The stuff that does happen, I don't think we hear about it. And the stuff that they pretend happens, that's what we hear about. <laughs> I so you saw think a video. all the, you think you everything you see is... Uh, I'll give conspiracy. you an example that might, I don't know, You you figure that shit out, but... I think it was Rob Works a couple months back during the summertime put up a a link of the police in a chase. The cops were chasing a guy in a pickup truck pulling a trailer in on I guess a major highway or something. But not I don't think it was an interstate. Anyway, his crime was at the time that they were trying to get him driving without a license. You know how they stopped him? Oh, how? I they forgot to turn him. my mic back on. 
shot. Oh, that usually works. Yeah, well, for driving without a license. And, and, I, and if anybody wonders why my wife doesn't want to go to America, she saw that. Did now, he? What, was I trying to pull him over and he didn't yeah, stop? Yeah, he wouldn't stop. And his crime, the crime they were trying to pull him over that he sh- got shot for was driving on a suspended or without a license. So it's probably suspended or they wouldn't know who he was if it was without. How do you know who you got? But a suspended license would mean that you, but still could have been somebody else driving that truck. Luckily for them, it wasn't. It was the guy that they were looking, you know, they that was the 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 guy but you you have an expectation right do you have an expectation when you flee from the cops whether it be right or wrong the response or what happens happens that happens oh you're gonna justify do you, being do you shot know no i want to ask you i want to ask you do if you run you flee what do you think is going to happen i don't know i've never put myself in that kind of stupid position See, you, you do this to me, too, on the sh- on the table. I, I don't know. I can't imagine what it's like to wake up to be an idiot tomorrow. I'm in today. I'm sane. I don't do certain things, so I can't answer your your, qu- your questions. Don't They don't work. I'm not a vision. I need to know from experience, or I can't tell you. I'd like to make something up to be funny on the Red Idio, but no. It's a little yeah. bit too too much for me. Uh, things are what what they are, right? They they is what they is. What did I say? And this is the way it is. Mm-hmm. So, what is the limiting behavior? This is how I started out uh, with this uh, whole uh, square pegs and round holes. Well, idea. anyway, the point I was trying to get to wasn't so much that the cops shot the guy. That just pissed me off, and I ran it. But how few people saw that. How they see it? How few people saw that link? Oh, good lord, Vinny! Please join the conversation. Don't be like Mary reading other stuff while I'm chatting. No, I was, I was, uh, I was doing copy and copy and paste, and I, I heard only. Well, what I mean is until people I hit think, the button. Okay, people. Oh, the internet is so huge, and it's got so many people on it, and this and that and the other, but it's got. 10 million fucking things to do on the internet. So out of the available time that people have to be on the internet, how few of them are looking at how messed up shit are. No, they're going to, I go on here at at least half the time I'm on the internet. I'm entertaining myself with something, music, games, some distraction from reality. And I, I spend a lot of time with it on because I have that, that luxury. But what about the person that has a job and kids? How much time do they got to spend, you know, looking at? And what would interest them to open up a link? Oh, the cops pulled this guy over. But so what? You know, it wouldn't wouldn't get their snap bone. You got a link for that, so I can uh, I'll include it into this blog. Put I'd have in. to I would have to dig one up, but I think Rob Works had it. Rob's the cop. He's the one with all the cops. Probably tell you the site if you ask him real nice. He's on now. Rob Works just came on. Hey, hey Rob. Rob Works, catch this. Uh, do you remember the link where the guy was running in a pickup truck, pulling a trailer, and got shot because he the charge to pull him over was he didn't have a uh, he was driving on a suspended license or something of that nature. I think. I think he'll be able to catch up because we're ahead of him, right? Yeah. We're, we're talking a minute ahead. So give him a minute to catch up. And, I, Vinny, you know, it's just the way I see things. You know, shit, I could be wrong, but I don't, I don't think so because I'm living my life. And the results of life brought me to think this way. Then you ask me something like, would I, 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 I've, in the last, since 1998, I have not, been pulled over harassed or stopped by law enforcement ever anywhere there you go avoid right no no that's the difference I, between avoiding no. and evading no i wasn't avoiding I'll, anything I'll it just that. it just stopped i drove without a license in california i drove from california to north carolina without a license 
I drove in North Carolina for eight, whatever, seven, eight, nine years without a license. I wasn't avoiding anything. I just didn't give a shit about them anymore. I, they, <laughs> fuck them. Well, was the worked. question? Answer the question first. What would I oh. do if I was pursued by the popo? No, ask cowboy. Well, oh, again, I already did ask him twice. What, that wasn't cowboy answer? tech. It was Rob Works. Oh, I'm, oh, talking I'm about sorry, cowboy, cowboy tech. tech. Oh, cowboy <laughs> tech. Uh, there was a cop chase. I think it was in somewhere around Tennessee, Kentucky, somewhere up in that area, and they were the cops were trying to pull over a pickup truck pulling a trailer. And his crime was driving on suspended or no license, and they shot him to stop him. And I'm just, uh, how few people see this about the police. I'm sure there's gangbangers out there that are sitting there all hooked up to the fucking YouTube watching cop shows. Come on. Look at the pe- the, the few people that see this stuff. And some of the best links on, on the the internet might have two or three million views big deal you go look at some of this horrible music two billion views <laughs> shit that i wouldn't listen to and it's got two billion shots or hits or whatever but the important stuff <clears throat> one thousand five thousand ten thousand eight thousand a hundred thousand is never never goes anywhere so that's why I'm I'm convinced that what we're doing is for entertainment purposes only. Okay, he heard. Uh, oh, okay. We we didn't know who could find the link, Cowboy and Rob Works, but you guys are the link specialists on the reallibertymedia.com. <laughs> there you go. Hey, I, I came with a clever little title for it. It's uh, Fleeing Without a License. Yeah. Well, you know, if... If I was to talk about that at the local bar to the people that want to go visit America, wh- what kind of impression do you think that would set on them? Say it again. I'm sorry. If I went to the local pub, I, I know a guy that's going to he's going to the big military parade in uh, in Washington. I think it's in November, and he was telling me about oh, I'm going to go. Now I could have interrupted him and said, you know, America is a shithole and the cops are fucked and da 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 da. But you know what I do? What? I tell them to enjoy their trip. Have fun. Hope you come home. Don't you say, stay there. You say that? I hope you come yeah. home? I really? tell them I hope and, you come And they back. don't go don't, like, they don't, don't like give there. you like, what? Look at you like a double look? Double look. No, because uh, it's sneaky the way I say it. But, uh, you know, I say it, don't sneaky. stay there. You make sure to come back. <laughs> well, America is very enticing, you know, in uh, in a small place like this where community is... It's important, but if you have funds and can afford to travel and shit, you see another world that the guy that lives in one town his whole life doesn't see. Even if that guy, you know, vacations to Spain every now and again. But if they don't go to the States, they miss a big uh, enlightenment, I would call it, because the States is so big. It's amazing how big it is. Ah, baby just came home. Hey. Yeah, she took over the shopping for me so I could do the radio with you. Nice. Yeah, Thank you, Sarah. Love dovey on the dog. Hey, I, I like to do the dork table. It's it's a kick. You know, get on here and argue with you about shit that it makes no difference in the whole world. Doesn't matter. And then every now and again, we say something that's quite intelligent, sir. That's uh quite bright. All right. Oh there yeah, we go. you. Thank you've you. Done, you. Yeah, you've done a few good shows with me. I'll tell you that over the time. My favorite one is the one about pot. Well, maybe not favorite. I got a top ten. Uh, free energy, pot, Bundy's. Hey, sweetie. Um, you've you've been. You don't get stuck in a rut. We'll have to use that too. Yeah. See, I using you as a muse here, fleeing without uh. a license. Yeah. evading or avoiding yeah well you call it avoiding and, and oh well I would agree wait, what with was you the if, uh, what was the last thing you just said i had it and then i went out of my mind when i read oh, that crap great i don't know well listen to <laughs> rerun but uh you well you say avoiding it and i didn't have any 
there was no intention. Yeah, there was no intention to avoid anything. I just made up my mind one day. I remember the day, too. And I said, fuck this shit. I, I ain't playing it anymore. I'm done with it. And that was that. Never look back. Eric. Oh, okay. Let's do yeah, that. Well, Thanks, he Rob put Hart. up a link. But th the point yeah. is... I'm going to take that when, copy right there. Yeah, and when you look at the amount of people that have taken the few minutes to click on that link, there's still a percentage of those people that didn't watch it. So right. the audience to the truth, although the truth is available and, oh, it's on the Internet 24 hours a day and all this crap... It doesn't have an audience. That's my point, signori. I don't There's... know why you do that, because I, I always tell you the points on top of your head. Well, Ooh. I kind of like being reminded. Ah, don't get okay. me riled or I'll get me kind of spit. I added that. I'll whip your ass. Oh, go, 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 go. What? i put some, uh, yeah, I'm going to add some chili to your spinach. <sighs> Oh, you know what? I seen a meme on there. Do you know that uh, there's a, another version of that? Spinach is, uh, makes those uh, kidney stones, cal what do they call it, calcify? So they harden? Oh, really? Well, see what I mean? It's on the internet. You're going to get both sides. So you got to figure out which one's true. It's very confusing. But still, that may be that uh, spinach has some kind of correlation to hardening kit what is it kidney stones <laughs> but it's amazing that they make a cartoon way back in the day about how good shit's for you and when you grow up you find out the shit was really not good for you <laughs> like we did talked you, last week did you hear about the lemonade diet <laughs> no come on no this is real <laughs> yeah, all right it, uh, you're making me laugh but <laughs> no lemonade diet. yeah um the lemonade <laughs> that lint that lemon juice it will uh it'll go in there and it'll start cutting all the edges off the uh the stones and you do this oh for, you're talking about yeah. kidney stones okay you said diet and i went to losing it is weight. yeah 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 it, it cleans your system out and it'll flush your stuff but at the end of it you uh you drink some um uh, vegetable oil, whether it be olive oil or, but anyways, in a massive amount, and it goes in, and then all you roll it through your stomach. You got to do these turnovers, and you got to roll in a certain uh, um, fashion where it all just runs through all your gut and gets all through there, and all your organs and wherever it leaks out and excretes, I guess, <laughs> <laughs> and soften it all up, yeah, and then then you'll start yeah. getting this ur, 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 your gallbladder <laughs> pumping and all that right. stuff and it'll squirt them out and see there won't be uh and the oil will have softened them in the uh lemon juice and uh so you just uh deposit them into the stool so check that out <clears throat> yeah i mean search it out i'm not telling you to uh Whoa. go on a diet because you're only fat headed and i'm not sure what uh what diet there is for that for fat headedness yeah uh I think that would be edumacation. Edumacation will bring you down a lot. Look at the educated and tell me I am wrong. You know, I never thought of education as putting somebody on a pedestal that you looked up to because they read a book in the dark with some special guy in a robe. That I thought that was child molesting, but hey, what do I know? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh yeah thank you I got it there you go another muse fat heads I'm gonna hashtag that fat heads yeah. uh, very I don't even know hashtag what the hell does hashtag mean what's that um do you know what the uh, pound sign is well, I know what the pound sign is I just don't know what the hashtag thing's about what are you okay guys so doing? if you well that puts it into uh like a, a database a uh, search uh, mode then you can yeah type do in you, that word and ah. Yeah, now you put uh, just put whatever uh, here, just for you. Uh, no, we'll I didn't go we're gonna there. listen. Listen, we're gonna dedicate this hashtag to you. Somebody shoot that duck. Uh, Cow Cowboy caught him. Duck uh, lover. Three point six six seven seconds. 
eight hundred and six ducks. All right. Do you see the hashtag? Yes, I do. It's, all right. So say so, it out. So the you say pound for the uh, hashtag. I would. So yeah. Say yeah. pound. Hashtag you do. Pound. Pound, pound. pound you. <laughs> Very good. Anyway, so are you feeling particularly free today, Vincenzo? Absolutely. Do you, do you uh, ever have days I, when I you don't? It. Wait a minute. Let me ask the question. I'm the interviewer. Do you ever have days when you don't feel so free? Uh, well, is it a mood or is it a an emotion or? I mean, how do you gauge your relative freedom? Amongst your peers, I, I seem to do everything I want to do. I feel very free. Absolutely. Are you uh, affiliated with any uh, agencies or groups of any kind? No. Yeah. So uh, you're no. alone. Just you're uh, a I'm a loner wolf. right here on uh, Real Liberty Media. You know, I'm I'm all me, all me's the, the many vinnies did I bees. You know, there's a lot of people that are not fond of other people. I'm one of those people. I can take people a little here and a little there, but a daily constant flow, no. I get really uh, annoyed real quickly. Because because of my life experience and the information that I have found on the interwebs, I find people very bland now. And the topics that I find interesting always seem to cause uh, conflict, mental conflict, not not violence or anything, that, but a discomfort. You know, the things that catch my attention are very depressing. And I think other people should know, but you know what? They don't want to know. <laughs> they, like, they like their la-la land just the way it is. Please leave us alone, Mr. Know-it-all. And that's the way I think that uh, the new information about the old lies is, is taken as well here as well as home or any place else I've ever been. Well, you, you are you tinging? Because uh, that's about it. What? T yeah, tinging. Did you? Tinging. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go get the link. This is the intro for the uh, for the blogcast. <laughs> uh, and and this will. An yeah, um, this will take you past the uh, the setup for the why they're there playing it and, that, and where they're at and, and so forth. So who sounds pretty cool. Sounds speaking pretty cool. of uh, these people right here, square pegs, round holes. Well, I'm not seeing anything that you're talking about. <clears throat> there you do now. I just dropped. Oh, it. you just posted it. Okay, <clears throat> ringing oh, rocks. Yeah, plain. Playing the ringing rocks. It is really, yeah, ranks. it's it's pretty cool, dude. Yeah, it's, they're uh, using hammers and uh, tapping rocks and making. Ah, baby, thank you. <clears throat> the wife brought the present because she loved me. Ha ha ha! See, I've got it. Whatever it is, Vince, I got. have some. I've got some. Not Ooh, a lot of it. it. You got it. I, here's yeah. The, here's Not all of more. it, but some of it. <laughs> <laughs> here's two more. Two more what? Two more. Oh, you're, that, uh, you're trying to get people to play music while me and you are doing radio. No, 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 no. This wow, is, this you're is, shooting no, me no, in the No, no, listen. Shh. What? Hush. What? Please. Yes, sir. Are you listening now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> this is the uh, four... four Heads up right here. Yeah, you can check it out. This is what's going into the uh, uh, to the little blog there. Blurb. It's not a blog. It's a blurb. A blurb. A verbal blurb or a written a, blurb? Yeah, that, it will go. Remember you was talking about the new banner that, that Grimner made us? Oh, uh, so uh, yeah. Thank you. It, Grim, you on? I don't know if Grim's <clears throat> hanging around right now. He might, might be on a coffee break. But, yeah, thanks for uh, the banner. Grimner, that was Grimner's listening. He's all I woke up to that this morning, and I went, oh. Life is good. It's nice to have people right. think of you when you don't ask them to do stuff, and they do it, and they go, hey, look what I made you. <clears throat> My wife does that all the time. She'll make something, but it's always for somebody else. And then I got to go, hey, I want one of those. She made this little dog with the tongue and the teeth, and it's like it's got the head and little tiny body and little tiny feet. 
kind of like me, only a dog. And He's got four, big four, bulgy eyes. What? Four twenty and three. Absolutely, Johnny. Absolutely. So, how many f bombs am I accounting for at this time? I didn't count. I didn't count. So, for, yeah, for the listeners, last week uh, I had forty, uh, and I had thirty-nine, and then the final strike. I heard one from my headphone, but then I didn't count how many other ones. So, when I, I had the, the deer hunter came by. I wonder why that's so important. What is? How people <clears throat> swear. Uh, hey, Grim. Uh, thanks for the banner. Appreciated much. I just saw it. 20 and 25, 19 seconds. Grim says, I'm here. <laughs> Rob says, are you is. sure? <laughs> no, because Gr Grim comes in and out. <laughs> Some, see, there he goes. He's kind of sure, but he's not mm -hmm. positive. You know, I like people that flow a little bit with the reality and don't make such a damn stand about all this like they know something. You know, like no. my uh, my stand on the round globe is always misinterpreted because we're <laughs> all trained to figure if you don't believe this, then you've got to believe that. Very few people will look you in the face and tell you, I don't believe anything. And they go, well, what, what does that mean? That's kind of self-explanatory, and then they start doubting that you're sane. <laughs> because the, the stories and the lies are so convincing of what we've been conned into believing that how could you possibly know what's real and what's not real? It's, it's all not real. If you've got to pick a side, you're losing right there. You've already lost because you've joined. Hey, somebody's it's, calling from Dallas, Texas. You know that uh, calling... Me, my cell phone. I don't answer. It. Oh, you know, I say ninety percent. Yeah, I get a lot of robocalls. Uh, that's <laughs> there was a news story on I seen near a week or two ago that uh, I, it's like eighty percent. Uh, this just come in here. Eighty percent of the phone calls, cell phone calls, will be uh, robocalls. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> I answered uh, yesterday <clears throat> just for fun. I said, let me answer this. See what this is. And, uh, <laughs> it's just. <laughs> yeah, it was the IRS. <laughs> I kid you not. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. Let's play with the Internal Revenue Service. See, you know, they've taken all the fun out of the game because uh, if it's a real person instead of, the, you know, that stupid voice, uh, I like to play with them. So, But wow. you can't play with a robot. <laughs> I don't know. I've heard some guys talking on the real liberal uh, media chat. Yes, they think they're going to yes. be sticking their their mm. penis into a robot very soon yeah, to have the sex, uh, so wow. they don't have to talk to the women. They will wow. do the robot. That's uh, boy. Well, I, I there's a lot that shouldn't be even said about that. I was going to say there's a lot that could be said about that. <laughs> I thought but, I said it. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> Wow. Well, what else are you wow. going to do with a sex bot? What, put it in a corner and throw darts at it? Yeah. Come on. Well, sweetheart, when, if it ever comes to that, you'd probably be throwing the darts at me. <laughs> if, if, if I replace Cirque with a robot, good Lord. <laughs> that would that would be an end to a good relationship. <laughs> I think they'd find me in little pieces buried all over the building somewhere. <laughs> the property would have little traces of me scattered. <laughs> I don't think my wife would like the robot idea. I wouldn't. I mean, how would you feel if women came on the RLM talking about replacing us with machines? <laughs> I would think they would be just as uh, silly. Well, do you notice a lack of women on the Real Liberty Media chat that talk about the sex robots? Hey, Rob, see you later. No, nope. oh, no, he said yeah. bye to the bot. Never mind. I, I jumped a gun. I thought he was leaving. Oh. But uh, I don't see that. I only see a few strange oh, little men that get onto the real Liberty Media and chat about these sex bots. I and not me. Just like, wait, just like the, the other people that don't look at the cop link, I'm the guy that goes, oh, yeah, and open that. Why, why do I want to see that? I just read the exactly. label and go, oh, I'm an expert now. I That's read the it. fucking label. I know everything. Oh, we never perfected our game. Shit. Which one? 
Well, I wanted to get two products, a candy bar and maybe drain cleaner, and read the ingredients, tell you I'm going to read the ingredients, but not tell you which one, and ask you at the end if you thought you would be able to survive eating that. Just well, I don't from think the I want to play that game. Yeah. Not the, well, that was not nasty. Do it. No, 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 not do it, but, you know... Well, the ideas that we have, we, we go for the advertisement and the colors and the packaging and, the, the you know, the, the things that grab your, your bone and go, hey, buy me, buy me. But how many people bother not only to read the ingredients, I don't do it, I've never, wasn't trained to do it, but read them and understand what they are, how they affect you. And, I mean, we take so much shit for granted in life while this fucking system slowly poisons us. Right there, uh, I can't recall the. Uh, I'd have to go back and do a little search, but uh, this mm. when they started preserving foods, uh, like back in the 1800s, and canned mm. goods, and and uh, there there's steps through there even where they you know started removing the lead from uh, to seal the uh, the tins. You used to use lead, get lead poisoning, you know, if you ate something that was stored in a can too long. Well, that's what uh, I that mean. That was Those a, still a real, real fear that carried over. I remember as a kid, you know, you used to get lead poisoning. And to, uh, what else was it? Yeah. Uh, if you okay, uh, ate but, something but spoiled the, like that. And I think these same people that did that and took it away because it was bad for us, supposedly, replaced it with something more subtle that takes longer to do the job. But while it's working on you, it makes you weaker. So you don't notice it. It doesn't, it's not a, a conscious effect. You don't feel it for years. And then one day you wake up ill. How right. did this happen? Well, the doctors don't know because they weren't trained to understand any of that. So they find some symptom that you have that fits a disease that they sell a pill to fix. Well, yeah, that's very good to put those two together. If people don't care, uh, what's inside their the food, the ingredients in their food, and you see where the advertising, uh, there is a lot of it for these medicines, you know, from the pharmaceutical companies. And they list, I mean, some of them are just almost the whole commercial is what the side effects are and possibilities, you know. Uh, <laughs> and, well, you so know if what, people you know are willing, are. if, if wait, people wait. are willing to accept that, uh, why would they even question what's inside their okay. food that possibly thing, might even be a part of the problem to start with? Wait, wait, wait. Stop. First thing, identify side effect. I, I did that. I found out what they mean by side effect. Do you know Arth what it means? Arthritis medicine uh, uh, has potential damage to liver and kidney. Um, no. Yeah. Yeah. Those no, are no, some I'm not side saying effects that's not taking the medicine. I'm not. That is not the definition of the fucking word the way they're using it. You're picking you're picking an effect. All effects all effects of a drug that you ingest or shoot into your vein are side effects. All of it. Not just one thing, not because this could happen or that can happen. Anything that happens by taking that drug is a side effect. Okay, And because the drug is not designed or created to cure anything. It's made to calm your senses, make you feel better, make you feel a little better for a few hours, but it fuels the damn illness. It keeps it alive. I don't, well, I don't know how they've done this. But all right. from my physical experience with high blood pressure con job, job they pulled on me, it's the drugs that make you ill. Not the illness. And the illness that they diagnose you as having, you didn't have it. You had a symptom of that disease that day. Now you Not get every more, day. Uh, the more pills effects, give you. And then you get more pills. But all effects of a drug are side effects because the drug is not designed to do anything permanent. <clears throat> it's, a, yeah. it's a toy. It's, it's addressing a, a symptom instead of a cause. Yeah, we're getting played like dumbasses by this conglomerate that owns everything and but people have no you don't have a history where you can talk to your grandma at our age we're, we're kind of screwed people don't tell you what happened 100 years ago because they're all dead 
So now all you got is, oh, the promise of a brighter future that never fucking comes. And a bunch of thieves selling you poison under the guise of assistance. And I'm fed up with it. I've had enough. Oy. But I tell you, it kind of irks me when I see other people fall for the game I fell for. Well, it's part of what we're at there, and there's a lot of people involved in it. When uh, yeah, see, I I yeah, I went to a uh, um, hospital for with a friend yesterday. Um, <laughs> yeah, so a biopsy. But anyways, you see a lot of the people there that uh, they're they're fat and sick, and you see the <laughs> nurses, the nurses and stuff. There's a lot of fat and you know, how do you, yeah, well, that, how do you okay. example, how do you example that, which you're, you know, almost as a prophet, you know, I'm not a prophet, but a, uh, what, um, you know, being part of this system and being proponent to it. And it's almost uh, religiosity to the medical system. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Well, well, they've got a lot of advantages because they do a lot of good, but the, the, the part of it that does good is not the part that you, uh, you're you told about. Oh, I'll give you an example. I, I had a nurse as a roommate in a house I was living in with, and I would talk to her about her job because I was curious as shit. What the fuck? 12-hour shifts, and you love it? And she says, these doctors are, are hopeless. She said, by their self, they can't do anything. It's the nurses that do all the work and the doctors that the doctors that get all the credit. And occasionally you'll have a surgeon that is skilled. But for the most part, doctors are just pill pushers. Well, let me tell you a little bit about how to what it is to become a doctor. But so I didn't after, believe her. But I didn't believe her when it, after she told you me this. go through all that college, you know, four years and then you go you know, become a doctor, go to medical school. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh You've got, you're pounding all these hours, you know, cramming, cramming. Uh, it's frantic the whole way through, right? And then you get, mm -hmm. when you, uh, after you come out of medical school, you become, go to an uh, internship, right? And that right there, that's when they really, you know, nonstop uh, sleep deprivation. And, uh, you know, uh, what was pounded into you in medical school, then, and then you're into it at that point in time, you know, knee deep. You from knee deep. Now you're up to your your eyeballs, right? Uh -huh. uh, it it becomes that it, it is an indoctrination program, and True. how that yes. even works, you know the the side effect of the system, right? Yeah. So you well, have I know you, this you've this got, ease. You've got relatives that are in the medical field. My point was not so much bashing the the doctors no no was that i was i was sitting there with somebody i was familiar with i knew them telling me that from their perspective of their fucking life their job and i refused to believe it at the time ah doctors can't be that bad no no in my mind i just and but if i had listened then it would have saved me about three years of uh doctor shit that i didn't need and i didn't I didn't see the whole thing until it was over. It's very hard to explain. You know, you warn people and they go, yeah, that happens to everybody else. Maybe that was it. I'm not real sure. But I still, I heard the truth and I denied it. So I paid the price for not listening. That was the point. Not whether the doctors are wonderful because they're related to you or not, but because... The knowledge has always been, people have been speaking it for fucking ever. I heard stories when I was in my 20s that I didn't believe until I was in my 30s. And still didn't learn from that lesson. The, the trust thing is so damaged in, in, in me, maybe not in other people, but I don't trust people. I don't trust what they tell me. I don't trust what they say. What they do. Yeah, kind of like that, like a big windstorm. And I'm always the one with my hair in a mess because they were trying to make things a big problem. Were you betrayed uh, at some point in time in your life in a big I way? Think I think I was betrayed <laughs> all Personal. my life. Yeah, I, all my life in big ways by people that were supposed to be there to help me, and they didn't. Like who? I had to, 
all of them, my parents, the school, the authority, you name it, they all disappointed me. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Because Do you think I, you're, you were uh, a disappointment to any of those? Uh... Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, they did not like that I wanted to be left alone. I was always getting told what to do, and when I hit about 11 or 12, I said, fuck this, I'm out of here. <laughs> I survived on the hmm. streets of Los Angeles. And other did, you, uh, did you run away and jo join the circus? No. I would actually just find work. I would have to lie about my age, and people go, God damn, you're awful small. I say, yeah, I know I'm very short hmm. for my age. And just keep talking they want well, you don't sound 11 years old no, i guess you are 14 <laughs> when i was 14 uh my dad thought i was gonna run away and join the uh yeah. the, the uh, carnival yeah i was working uh and uh i did the tear down uh, yeah cool no i never yeah. did the carnies no. no never saw any need for that yeah i well, worked I, uh, my I worked this softball into the milk can pitch ah you you're such a mean man <laughs> the softball can trick well, oh, I like you, to you uh, could do it. I would go out there and I would toss it in there. But yeah, I, it does have a trick to it. Like Bondo I, made the uh, the hole smaller. You I'm had trying to, to think if I'd done anything like that. <clears throat> circus? No, I don't think so. Nothing comes to mind. But I've done so many things over the years. Like I did it for three days <clears throat> or a week or something in some state. I was passing through to get money to do that, and who knows? It's it's hard to. It's hard to write it all down now. I can't. I'm running out of uh, the the memories are going. I've gotten to the point too with some things <clears throat> where I I at, a few years ago I started to to doubt my own history, because other people would you know oh that couldn't have happened and oh it wasn't that bad you know so I stopped talking about shit, <laughs> and then a few years later I talked myself into thinking well maybe they were right and I none of this really happened. Because the older you get and the further you get from the memory and the more you ignore it, the less the less uh, access you have to it, the older you become, I think. Uh, I feel a little and, bit like Dr. Uh, Phil right now. Well, good. But I think that if you stuff something in a <laughs> hole that you will forget about it, but something will come along and remind you you buried something somewhere, and then you'll spend five years looking for, where did I bury that? <laughs> Torture yourself like a, you know, like a lab rat. You ever bury the hatchet? Not personally, but I've thought about it. No, I mean in the uh, the figuratively sense. Oh, I thought you meant like bury a hatchet in somebody's forehead. No, but that's yeah, that's like zombie. First thing I, I thought of. But I'm kind of uppity about you know living, so I tend not to murder other people. No, I'm talking about like with a. Somebody you had a problem, have you ever like gone to, uh, you know, end the problem, bury the hatchet, let's put this aside. No, it doesn't fix work the for me that way. Let's never fix the works. problem. No, never works for me. It's always nice knowing you. See you later. <laughs> really? There's, there's no compromise. What for? What am I going to compromise for in, in life? And, and do so what? If somebody doesn't see it your way, then piss on them. It depends on the issue and and how it affects me in the in in the social situation I'm in. But yeah, why not? What if? Uh, mm, what's a good example? There's there's no guarantee of a tomorrow, Mister. I don't know what planet you live on, but every fucking day I wake up, I am amazed I'm still here. I can't believe I've lived. This I time. am amazed. I am. A I cannot understand. And people talk about good and bad and all this <laughs> horse shit and duality. How the fuck did I get where I'm at? If there's such a thing as balance and good and evil, doesn't make any sense. You think there's supposed to be a balance between good and evil? I don't. I don't think so. A lot of other people tend to lean that way. You know, the karma and the. The laws of nature and all this crap. Well, they might work in the long run over big things, but on a personal scale, I don't think they matter. There's too many people. Well, only one can win out over another. There's there's no balance uh, between good and evil. One will okay. win out over another. Which Let one do you see? Think of the think of the Indian 
the uh, meme no, that no, they you, put up. The do wolf. You take, do you take people for their word, or do you watch what they do? Um, well, I, I sometimes watch what people do by their words. Because how well, how you deliver? Give me an example. No, give me an example so I, I'm clear how you see okay. this. Okay, so um, somebody starts talking to you, and, and they're uh, uh, it's what they're doing. They're they're doing a setup, right? Hal causes the setup for this takedown. So remember, we was talking about oh, you take this from this Google search, and no, you take out what applies mm -hmm. there, right? Mm -hmm. So they're said they're in the they're doing their setup for the takedown. Uh, and that's the, 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 then comes the delivery of the lie. Uh, so then they tell their story, but then they'll tell it again in a different way. Uh, so, yeah. And then I must out, do that out of then. that, the, the tone, the inflection, uh, it's mm. all, you know, tools for, for measurement. Uh, mm. So that's the, that's the answer to that question. Well, I played poker for a few years when I was in L.A. When I was young, uh, don't know how all that came out. I had a friend that said, "Hey, that's let's how, go." That's how uh, you got your wardrobe. You was a strip poker champion. <laughs> strip and poker. also, <laughs> it also it also explains <laughs> the wardrobe you were wearing. <laughs> no, nothing explains what I'm wearing now. I got. I even got paint on my. I got paint on my T-shirt today. I was cleaning my brush on my shirt like some kind of. I don't know. I lost my mind. Anyway, <laughs> I'm I think I yeah. Well, I still think people are convinced more by what you say than what you physically do. You can promise some people the moon forever, and they keep waiting for you to deliver it to, them, but they never tell you. Well, come on, it's been a week or a year or ten years, or they never call your bluff. I call your bluff in ten minutes. Like, remember when Hans was uh, going to invade Denmark and run a tank up on my street? <laughs> I'm still waiting. He ain't done it. Huh. <laughs> it was funny as hell when, when he said that. Huh. But, okay, you got your word and you got your deed. But if you're sitting with somebody that you, that you know them and, and, and you're familiar they tell you something and you know there's something wrong, but you can't f put your fucking finger on it right away. <laughs> oh. That's that ability to, yeah, to separate the word from the deed. I don't think everybody's got it. Right. I do. Look at, yeah, oh, Mr. Vincent, you, you don't, you know, you know, took down the Twin Towers. Yeah. Hmm. Thank you. Okay. I've got to work on this, but here you go. Here's well, your uh, muse. Uh, infused yeah. dork table uh, portion of the blurb. Here, you wait for it. Wait for it. Wait, wait for it. Read. Wait for it. What? What? I'm waiting. Uh, oh, There's yes. There's nothing yeah. happening. Just wait. It will be there in I, a minute. I've been waiting. That's uh, what I mean. You promised me the moon and then nothing. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Three. I don't know. Three, two, two one, now, one. Flash uh, before me, flash below me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Mr. Creative is taking a poke at me. Uh, hey, can you sing that uh, one song? And, well, well, let's hear, here it is. It says, my wardrobe, confessions of a strip poker champion. <laughs> flash somebody. <laughs> yeah, well, the reason I, uh, the reason I brought said, it up is. Oh, my clothes. Well, I, was, I was playing poker at the Commerce Club before it was famous. That's, really? Yeah, when did it become famous? Ago. Well, when they built the hotel and went on TV with the um, with the online competitions and tournaments and shit, put up a hotel. <laughs> I used to go there when it was just a casino and a restaurant. And did they have like a private room for... The, oh uh, yeah, up. they had a, they had an upper, <laughs> upper deck for the higher games. Tell tell me about some had, of the most flamboyant costumes that you wore. <laughs> I don't wardrobe. wear flamboyant costumes, <laughs> you butt nugget. <laughs> I have wow. I envision you like, 
uh, Liberace. You've won all these, like, uh, the Boas and... <laughs> no, Vinny's Vinny's going insane. He, think, he thinks he's talking Liberace on the RLM. <laughs> no, I'm not Liberace, my friend. But whatever you have your you have your imagination to play with, and you do a very fine job, sir. <laughs> but uh, what what I was going to is when you when you sit and play poker with people for long periods of time. And you watch them. I was taught to do certain things by another poker player. He gave me some tips when I was young. And they, they're they true. People behave. And it, now we have online and competition in 2020 and 2018 and whatnot. So a lot of the old days have changed because of the cameras and the things that they got now that they didn't have then. And right. People would lie. Well, there was some people you could actually tell they was full of shit. And there were some people that you'd look at them and go, holy fuck, I don't know. Do I call? <laughs> so, well, so as a gambler, I would got, I'd get myself into a position where I'd just say, well, I'm in for it. If, if I'm in this deep, I'm going all the damn way. <laughs> and sometimes it did good and sometimes it got my ass kicked. But it was fun and I had a good time and I learned a lot about my fellows. You know, people are really interesting Especially when they're quiet. <laughs> I think I told you this before. I played the, the whole <laughs> casino game, and uh, you start out. I think it's five grand. I got up to seven hundred and fifty million dollars. That's three quarters Whoa. of a billion dollars. <laughs> <clears throat> and the the computer yeah. blurped, and I lost it all. I got mad. Ooh. But yeah, so <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> that's a lot, a lot of hands of uh, uh, Texas Hold'em. So I go out to Vegas and I go sit down at uh, Binion's Horseshoe. And uh, I played for hours. Uh, went out and sat in with a hundred bucks and uh, cashed. Uh, I started with the fi- fifty and chips, and uh, so I went to uh, went through all those stages. Uh, one guy kept sucking out a- ahead of me, and uh, he was all drunk and obnoxious. And I went on tilt, and so uh, lost fifty bucks. Yeah. And I was gonna buy in another fifty and chips, and I said, "Nah, I'm good. No, that's enough. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, I-, I was satisfied. I well." I look I at it in terms of entertainment. You just yeah. paid fifty bucks to be entertained for ten hours. Christ, that's no. True. I I went to go test my uh, poker playing skills. Yeah. I call it entertainment. All right, whatever you a uh, name is a name. I wanted you know poker live skills. live firsthand. That's the type of person mm-hmm. I am. You know, you, mm-hmm. for a long time I you know or a long time. Well, for some time I've been uh, you know out exploring and. Uh, looking at things and how they work and then going and, and engaging in it, you know, for example, that's just another example. Mm. Yeah. yeah, well, that's gave, life. Huh? I get satisfied me, right? I accomplished and now, and now we have the internet, so we don't have to do anything anymore. See? I've trapped We have a been lot ultimately, con- well, glad I'm at the end of my days for all this instead of the beginning. I would not have wanted to grow up with oh. the with the society and the technology we have now would have I wouldn't have enjoyed it. And I what's don't think coming? I would have lived through it. What's well, coming? What's it's even what's worse. Coming? It doesn't matter. They're poison the fucking water and the food. Who cares what's coming? It's all re- you're already fucked. You can't even enjoy your life because the the supply <laughs> of electricity and food is tainted. We're yeah. not designed to function at optimum potential because of what we're eating and drinking this is it's against us i think it's on purpose i really do i know it's on purpose (laughs) christ you don't how do you accidentally fuck up like this come on these people get promoted and called sir and president and senator and while 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 they rot while they write laws that (laughs) allow them to do the (coughs) things they do (coughs) yes And there's no recourse. You can't fight it. You can't Sorry. stop it. You can't tell the next guy without him thinking you're a fucking lunatic because you think your water's poisoned. What have you been watching sci-fi movies again? Oh, you know what? <laughs> that reminds me. I saw something. Want to? Uh, oh, where are you at? See. Hey, you want to do a little longer? You want to go another half, or do you want to end the show and, and call it a night? We got oh. six minutes. Well, we will keep rolling if we do. Um, All right, I'm I'm up to it for for another twenty if if we 
got a good topic. If not, we let's just call it a night. But uh, yeah, uh, I think that I think that most people oh. do not know the the truth side of the equation. They only yeah. know the the official story that they're fed by the state that wants them to read it or hear it or know it. But they don't want you to know the truth. If you knew the truth, you wouldn't do it. You'd be like me. And everybody would not like you because you didn't say, care about how often you said the word fuck. Well, the big issue with that for me is uh, uh, it closes uh, doors, windows even. It, Maybe uh, so, but, it, ah, it, but you it, know what? It brings to uh, uh, where you actually go into a, a soundproof studio at sometimes it. Um, how, how far what it is you're saying would uh, echo. So, I do this for a giggle to yeah. have fun well, on the radio. Hey, I don't. Be... I don't set rules on you. You know, it is. is no, no, no. Is, I know. That. And I think it comes in contrast. So, uh, that's what. Uh, that's what we need to do. You know, people talk about. Um, you know, this this sameness. What this consensus, right? And and all this, but the uh, the contraction. The contrasting is uh, is a good well, way to be able Vinny, to uh, take a, a look. When when you're fed the results of something you didn't participate in in the first place, what is your level of understanding of what you just heard? Well, a recent survey indicates that 37% of the population that blah, 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 blah. And how do you know? What's 37% of anything? It's a bunch of mumbo jumbo to just keep you dumb. Okay, let's say you were gonna you were gonna write uh, a, a paper on what this is that is is, and so but you take and cut out cut out clips out of the newspaper. Now you do it on the internet, copy and, and paste, pretty amazing thing. So you'd write this and glue it down on the paper like you were the uh, 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 the Zodiac killer, didn't he? Didn't he want to do that? Some of them, I think. Anyway, yeah, so he imagine sent, that. he sent yeah. a script to the paper, yeah, yeah. to a and code. Then he put it on. Uh, then he cut out clippings or something like that out of the newspaper. Maybe I'm not real familiar with that. They did a movie about it, so half of that movie is nonsense and half of it is true. Yeah, so you at just, least yeah. That's what we're doing: taking a copy and paste and the, sticking them down right there, and cutting right through that. Right, you're you're pulling it out of uh, what information is uh, being provided but how calls a notice in the news <laughs> yeah well i prefer the small links of you know individuals that have gone out into the world and <clears throat> took a camera and shot their own video of something they saw not what the government wants me to read about and i've seen some uh, everything from a a, a, ra a raccoon caught in a guy's car cover to the moon landing on the internet and out of all that you got to figure some part of your brain functions <clears throat> at a level you're not aware of sending you know making you feel certain shit about what you see and these things are brought they're they're brought out of you as a child by the adults in your life to get you to behave a certain way and there's a few of us that don't we don't do that we do it differently and then, of course, we end up at the dork table in the, you know, at the end game. But I don't see it so much as a punishment as uh, we're not going to listen to you. So go over there. You know, you're, you're not one of the cool kids. You go over to the dork table and, you know, go play with your pencil pocket holder or whatever you call the pen pen thing. And, you know, polish your glasses and leave us cool people alone. So now we're here at the dork table. That's right. Contract. Well, right, but so it's good do you though. Think you're, because do you think you're a uh, a square peg? Or I don't. You think I you're stuck know. in a round hole? I'm not stuck in anything. I I live my day. You you put yourself where you're at. Exactly. Yeah. All the re all the results of my life are because of something I decided to do. Hey, Grimner caught a stray duck. He was flapping around for a little while. Hey, check this out right here. This uh, <laughs> this, this is more uh, square holes or square pegs or square pillars and, and round holles. Uh, oh. 
I want to talk about contrasting life today, how, how easy most people have it in the world. You look at these uh, these two guys here. They've uh, dug them a well down to groundwater and uh, then built a uh, filtration system. It's pretty cool. Wow. So primitive yeah. technology, searching for groundwater and uh, water filter, well, water well. Yeah. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Ooh. I watched it actually. Okay, it's forty-eight look minutes at all, long. And look at all the amazing things that you can find on the internet if you look. But how many people got the time? See, it's a time thing. So a lot of it is recommendation. Hey, why don't you look at this? Hey, why don't you look at that? <laughs> then you got the person that's got that status mind. They nope, that can't be true. 10 minutes into a two hour video and they don't, this is how I dealt with medical in 1998. I listened. I, you know, I discarded the information. Oh, you can't be telling me the truth. I lived my life 15 years later. Wow. That was the truth. And I didn't listen. So that's how I see this. That's uh, your problem. You just don't listen. No. Exactly. It's my saving grace and my problem at the same exact time, depending on the situation. Because people were not for me uh, coming to Denmark and doing what I did. They made that quite clear. But I did it anyway. Because, I mean, I was already in, in Scotland, so I thought, well, what the hell? What difference does it make? I'm not going back there. So, whatever. But because I didn't make a decision, my decisions affect other people, whether I, I admit it or, or know it or not, they still do. I'm listening. That was it. I okay. thought you might have something to say on top of that, because <clears throat> you, we, we're not, uh, we're not like, uh, isolationists. We socialize me and you, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, everybody in the RLM that, is an isolationist living wise still has public interaction. They do trading. They, they have friends or relatives or something. So there's some kind of communication. Well, the decisions that I make tend to make people lose interest in staying in, in contact with me or the distance. Like I got a friend in North Carolina that's in real estate. I, I knew her when she was a bartender wanting to become a real estate agent. Now Woody is in Arizona getting his trying to get his real estate license. And I thought, hey, that would be pretty cool to get a hold of my old friend in North Carolina and let her know I got a friend that's trying to get into real estate in, in uh, Arizona and see if there's anything that could, you know, any help could be handed or information or names or something. But I haven't made the call yet. But it gave me a reason to look up an old friend, which I very, I don't think I do it. Very once in every five or ten years. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm not. Yeah, I'm. I don't linger on the past. I'm living in the day I'm in. And when I linger in the past, I usually get pissed off or angry. And then people go, "Oh, what's like my wife?" She goes, "Well, you're all angry today." And then I don't really notice it, but in my mind, I'm thinking of a, something that may have happened twenty years ago that pissed me off. And then sit back in the corner, you know, chipping at a wall. And I don't know I'm thinking about it. But at the time, then the next day I go, wow, what the hell was up my butt yesterday? And I think, ah, oh, that was it. But when things happen, my awareness level is scattered on other shit. I, I don't focus very good. Focus. But I'm a hell, I... but I react real, I react really well. Focus. That means, uh, almost. You're the actor. Seal. I'm the reactor. Foc focus. That's a what, seal, what? right? Hocus Pocus. It's no, a song focus. by a band at a... Yeah, it's a... Seal. It's a, uh, it's a band called Focus. 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 They played Hocus Focus? Pocus. Focus. Now you're just talking gibber No, 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 no. Fo focus or Focus. Uh, let me go do a search. I think it's Focus. No, maybe no, no. maybe that's both. See, language has been so perverted como, over so como many they years. Como dice seal en español. Yeah. Don't make me get zero over here to whoop your ass, Bosco. Anyway, do you think that you live in the 
the moment that you're in all the time or are you f- mentally aware that the shit around you is constantly trying to either drag you into the past or push you into the future and keep you out of the moment that you're actually in no. hey cowboy tech is taking off hey we're Bye-bye, just hanging cowboy a little taking. longer than usual <laughs> Yeah, he's. We've got eleven. We got eleven hardcore dorks at the dork table. Dorkity dork dork, dork dork. I'm waiting as my thing spins. No. Have a little, have a little, have a little. Yeah. Oh, register. Yes, uh, register to vote, please. Uh, Google reminds <laughs> you. Yeah, they've got voter uh, voter buttons. Register to vote in the Google. Yeah. You know how. You use Google, you'll always see that. Yeah, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start looking at different search. Uh, okay, I want these last I wanna days end, Google. Huh? I want to end this with something fun. Ready for this? Yeah, but let's don't play end, a little. Yeah. Le, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Huh. You're on a beach, okay, and it's like sunset, and you see a bottle, and it's shiny, and you go over and you pick it up, and you pick up the bottle, and you go, "Hey, what's this?" And you start dusting it, and the genie comes out and says, "I am the genie of the lamp." You are my master. You are granted three wishes. What are your three wishes? Uh, oh, uh, there's a rule, though. Once you make a wish, you can't change it. It's done. You can't uh, undo a wish. No, no. That was going to be my first one would be the wish to uh, uh, have a, what would you call it, like a grace period uh, for a <laughs> Cancel it. You're too smart. No, do, do you have three things that you would, would wish for? And would they be selfish or would they be forever? Uh, let's see. For the selfish one, uh, my first wish would be to have perfect DNA. Wow, that's deep. Okay. Mm-hmm. And second one? I'd hold on to them. That right there would pretty much solve everything else, wouldn't it? See, that's like my my theory that if we, we were an honest world where people did not live on bullshit and stories and lives that are bad, we wouldn't have the results we have. So, yeah. Well, last week we were, you were saying about a perfect world, and there's no, there's no way. It's a beautiful dream, but as long as man is a greedy slob, these are the results we will have, period. <clears throat> Never going to change. They just get worse. Anyway, I'm going to I'm going to roll on up to bed. Right on. And uh man, I had fun tonight with you on the dork table, good, of course. Good. Yeah, well. Hey, well I think we developed into this from where we started. When you took over for Mary, I wasn't very comfortable. I was really like, well, you know, like a new pair of shoes. And now I'm back to comfortable with the Vincent, so it, Probably you'll probably go now. <laughs> well, I hey, listen. I tell you what. Let's uh, let's get Grimner to do uh, one change with the banner. You can uh, have two banners if you want to. Uh, but won't we? Uh, won't we make this uh, marked in pen here from the pencil and in uh, for Tuesdays? But uh, I'd like to uh, forego the uh, the Saturday uh, broadcast. Yeah, I figured you would. Yeah. But you want to do the Tuesday night thing? Yeah. Uh-huh. And I, that, uh huh. But okay. That, that's fine because uh, sometimes, you might not believe this, but sometimes I've wanted to do a dork table on a Saturday alone to see if I could eventually get comfortable enough. And I've been using you kind of like a crutch to yeah. avoid doing it alone. Yeah. Because, eh, and and I've was, listen, I've enjoyed kicking it out from under you yeah, and yeah, hitting you in the head too. with it. You're oh, too easy. I, yeah. You, you're just man. way too easy. Fighting with you is like pissing on my leg to stay warm in a snowstorm. It is a waste of time. <laughs> but so see, you... the see, wait, the fact that I got you to piss on your own leg. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why you don't you see, tell everybody? It's just too easy. It is okay. too easy. All right, tell them. Tell them to <clears throat> line up and make the good nights and let's get, call, <clears throat> call this up. Tell them what they get, Johnny. That's right. Hey. Right here ding, ding, on ding, ding, Real ding. Liberty Media. Uh, tomorrow night, come along comes the Grammy in a rocket chair. <laughs> Blast it high in a rocket chair. A rocket chair. <laughs> Diddy. <laughs> Grammy Mary. Yes, that's right. I and along uh, comes the Freakers Friday. Uh, I... Yep, starting at 6 in Kansas. 
with Grim Perry. Absolutely. Four hours yeah. later, we got Grimner and Grim uh, Mighty Moose Girl. That great, great, yep. great, great, great Grimner. On the with, Freakers Ball. That's right, y'all. Uh, unless uh, she's uh, wait, unless she's going out of town. I I was reading last week. <laughs> I think the other day she might be going to a festival this week. Uh, I'm not sure. To, I could be wrong. Balls to the wall. Uh, yeah. Balls to the floor with the Grimner. Oh, very good. And then you'll be so low, so okay. low that you will be like goo under the shoe. Uh, mm. <laughs> Saturday. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Wow, uh, you're too alone. kind. <laughs> All alone. <laughs> All by my lonesome. Yeah, that's at 11 Central Time, noon on the East Coast. And uh, then uh, Grimner comes along with the blues at 9 a.m. on the left coast, followed by Hal Anthony at noon o'clock. That's right, behind the woodshed. Come on along, y'all. And uh, many of will be back next Tuesday in the. Uh, I'll see how uh, how how you muse me then. So, oh hey, I got I gotta say this. Then I might have to do the air show um, either late or early uh, from my normal dork table time Saturday. Tuesdays? No, t- uh, oh, sat- no, 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 no. This that's... one sat. Wait a minute! Don't inter- You're messing is, up my whole this flow is, here. Yeah. It, okay. Go ahead. Uh. I have a date with the wife Saturday evening at my normal dork table time. So I will either do the show before the date or after the date. I will get back to you on the RLM before that and let you know. That's good. Well, I don't usually uh, like to go anywhere, but something came up and I think I'm going to go out and have dinner with a wife. That's wonderful. I like her cooking so much better than restaurants. Oh, so. yeah. Mm. I'm, yeah, well, mm. I'm weird. Yeah. Yeah, people it's were going, hey, take your wife out for a nice meal. I go, man, taste her food, and you won't want to go to the restaurant. <laughs> have, have you tried to cook her anything ever? <laughs> no, she's she, afraid. She won't let you? Well, I don't know. She knows what – we have different tastes. She cooks for me sometimes where it's not what she would have. She's adjusted it, you know, to suit my taste. She's been cooking that. you heart and that sort of thing. <laughs> no, 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 no. What? But but her diet is her. Uh, I'll I'll let you talk to her about what what that diet thing, food wise. Anyway, it's been swell. Thank you, Vincent. I had thank, a good time. Thank and you. Uh, Saturday will be solo, but I'm not sure if I'm doing it before or after the dinner date extravaganza. <laughs> Probably be smart to do it earlier. I need so to ask I'll, you I'll, one yeah. question before we leave. Yeah. yeah. We'll yeah. know we'll know when we know uh when <laughs> you know. Right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but, Thanks yeah. everybody. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. My question wait, wait, is wait. Yeah. did yeah. you learn anything today? Oh yeah. I learn something every day, whether I know it or not. But today, yeah, today was really good. I enjoyed that. All right. I hope you got yeah. enough, and we'll see you next time. I always got enough. <laughs> I got so much, I got to give some to Cirque. <laughs> see you later, everybody. Bye bye. Okay, let me whoa, let me close these things. Ah, the.